So if I go to simulation, you're going to see on here that it's going to actually show me the part as if it's being made for real. Okay? So in here you see my block and you can see that my facing tool is coming in here and wiping out the top of it, right? And then it changes to my three quarter inch tool. And in here it's doing that first spigot where it's cutting it down to the actual size of the outside. Okay? Now it's doing the pocketing part of it. So it's removing the material except for the island. And you'll see that this actually happens in two passes to get to my final depth, right? So once it gets a cut out completely here, then it's going to come back and do a second pass like you're seeing right now. Now once it finishes taking the major part of the material out of here, it's going to take that tool and it's going to switch to a little bit smaller tool so that it can get sharper corners on those inside radii, which is what it's doing right now. That's called residual machining. Once it's done with that, that same tool is going to take a final pass to clean it up to the exact size. And then it's going to clean up the floor of the pocket. Okay, and that's what you're seeing right now. Once it finishes here with the floor, it's going to actually change to a chamfering tool and it's going to knock the edges off of all of the surfaces. So off the island, off the pocket, and then off the outside of the part. And that's what it's doing right now. And around the outside like so. And that's the completed part. You also have real-time simulation. And real-time simulation is a link one-to-one -one scenario. So as I watch the tool, we'll probably throw it in 3D, that always looks a little bit interesting. We see the cutter, we're taking a look at it. I'm gonna come down and approach. There's the tool. Uh, watch what happened. I stopped the machine, it stopped. Right, it stops. I checked up with the gas a, on. I still have my XYZ readout right there. I can see what's happening right here in real-time simulation. We can still manipulate different points in the view window, all right, I can zoom in. Now you'd say, well, why do you need that, right? I can look through the window, there it is. And we happen to be running dry right now, right? right? No big deal. Yeah, you activate you coolant. You put blood? You can't see anything. Yeah, you know it, it's just coolant everywhere. And that's what we want. You know, yeah. these, these higher performing machines, they have some really big coolant pumps. Yeah. So this, at least I can see not only where I'm at, but what's coming up in the future, right? Yeah. So I know, okay, I haven't gotten into the pocket yet. That's gonna be coming down a little later.